Hey teachers, this is uh, Spencer Campbell. Um, this video comes to you courtesy of Mrs. Schulteis and Mr. Lord, um, who figured out how to send a mass email to all of your students. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that quickly, so um, you can just watch this and pause it um, as you need to. Uh, first of all, what you actually need to do is you need to get into a classroom, like you're going to enter grades, um, and pull up your class list with your roster and uh, just any individual class. Um, internet's running a little slow, so as soon as this pulls up, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the top left-hand corner where it says Other Access. You're going to drop down to Message Center, click on Message Center. That'll open up a new window. Um, as most of you know that have been here for a long time, that Skyward, in my opinion, is not very user-friendly. Uh, too many clicks, too many buttons, all of that stuff. Um, what you're going to do then is you're going to uh, go to over here, depending on what you want to do, add a message for multiple classes, or you're going to add a message for the current class. Okay? So let's say we want to send it to all of our students or all of our students' parents. If there's an announcement that needs to be made, you would click on add a message and what that will do is that will take you to a, another screen um, where you're going to be able to basically choose a few options as far as who you want to email to, uh, where you want it to come from, obviously you're going to be able to write your message, uh, but there's a few important things once you're on this page. Um, so here's your message summary, here's the detail, okay? Down in the posting options, you can look through this, uh, but you're going to need to post to family access, allow parents to respond to this message, post to student access, allow students to respond to this message, post to the calendar, post my e email address for parents. So you can you have all of these options. And what you can actually do is choose the day that you want to post it. So you can create a message a month from now to remind your students about midterm or student-led conferences or your parents about that. Now the most important thing on this page is you need to click this button right here, send as an email. Um, otherwise it will just post it to the family access as an announcement um, instead of an actual email. And then down here on the bottom what you're going to be able to do is choose which classes you want to email this message to. Okay, um, Skyward for some reason has uh, multiple classes. And I think maybe that's because they've they've um, updated it or something since then. So you're going to have classes in there twice um, this year. You just need to make sure that you match whichever class you're going to email it to. Okay, um, then once you're done, you know there's a spell check here. If you need that, you just click save. Okay, and then it will um, take you to the next page or it will email it out um, right then. There's an option on the next page. I'm not going to create one because then I'll email all my students and stuff like that. Um, the nice thing is it's already loaded with your um, Jordan School District web address. If you don't have a Jordan email address, you can send it and put in your personal one right there. Um, that's where you would change it. Um, I will try and do one of these Skyward videos um, maybe once a week, maybe once every other week. Um, about something cool that we've learned or we've found out, but I think this is one that a lot of teachers is, have been looking for. Um, some of you already knew how to do it. Um, once again, thank you, Mr. Schulteis and Mr. Lord, for showing me how to do this. Um, you guys are awesome. We will talk to you later.